Hey guys, you'll never guess where we are. Never, <laughs> except that's a giveaway because I can see Dawson City. And it's cold. And this river is called the? The Yukon River. It's wow. A, it's excellent. Welcome to this season, this, this uh, epic going north season. We have seen so much already. Oh man. It's incredible. It is amazing. The northern parts of Canada are absolutely stunning. We really can't even do it justice. Like we're trying our best to take drone footage and take photos and take, you know, um, video footage out the window as we're driving by bison. <laughs> I'll talk about that in a second. Yes. Um, but we just can't even do it justice because it is so huge. Like you, what we can capture in a little camera is like nothing compared to how huge it is. And with the amount of people that are here, like the ferries here are little because there's very little traffic. So <laughs> look, at all those, look at all those people on the beach. Oh, wait. Oh, there's none. There aren't any. <laughs> Just us chickens. And that's north, which means tonight that'll be northern lights sky. Oh, that is seriously one of my hopes is to see northern lights from this far north. I've seen them lots. Yeah. And we'll talk more about the northern lights later when we do see them. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Okay. So, what, was, what did I say I was going to talk about? Oh, you were going to talk about... Mention it in bison. Bison. That's right. That's okay. right. So a couple of videos ago, we showed what I called buffalo. We're like, look at this herd of buffalo. Look at that baby buffalo. Those buffalo are so cute. And my cousin had 50 buffalo. That's what he told me. Yeah. And I've seen them. Exactly. Uh, in Saskatchewan. So yep. he had buffalo, but that's what he called them. Yeah. And he would say, here, Buffy, Buffy, Buffy. And they would come stampeding towards the truck so they could eat their food. And it yep. was incredible. But... But we have since learned because one of our subscribers commented on that video and said they're not buffalo, they are bison. And I'm like, mm, yeah, no, they're buffalo. They because come from Wood Buffalo Park. I grew up in the north. And yeah, those that particular herd actually was imported from Wood, Wood buffalo, buffalo National Park. Park. But the name buffalo is misplaced. And to get it right, it doesn't matter if it came, they came from Wood Buffalo Park, they're still supposedly They're still called Wood Bison. bison. They're called Wood Bison. Yes. Um, and there are also plains bison, so there are different kinds. So I stand corrected, even though I do not like being wrong. <laughs> I will give that one to that subscriber. And if I can remember your name, I'll put it on the screen right here. So thank you for correcting me because I actually, I like to be right. And so in order to be right, you have to be willing to be corrected. That's so right. they are wood bison, not wood buffalo. So and we... it wasn't a reindeer. Nope. It's a caribou. caribou. <laughs> so have we seen anything amazing today? Well, maybe not quite amazing enough because, oh my goodness, look what we just stumbled on. Uh, that looks like a, an abandoned ship. That's a, a stern wheeler right on the Yukon River that they were done with, so they parked it right there and let it just be. It's a stern wheeler graveyard. This oh, is incredible! You guys, and this is like literally walking distance from our campsite. Right here. Amazing. And our campsite, by I the way. I gotta explore some more. Only costs 12 bucks a night, so. That's a win. All right, let's go take some more pictures. This is awesome. great time walking through Dawson City and look at this. This is the confluence of the Klondike River and the Yukon River. 
I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but way over there, it's like like muddy, silty, brownish color. And then closer to here, it's a lot clearer. So that's pretty awesome to be able to see those two rivers come together and head up to the Bering Sea. Awesome. The things you find out when you just go outside, go for a walk, and it stopped raining. So woohoo! Happy rain, about that. Rain's coming. Oh, it's gonna rain again. Look at that. Here comes the rain. But I got my trusty rain jacket, so I'm all good. This is cool. This is where the gold is, kids. This is where the gold is. Can't tell them what you heard at the trading okay. post. Okay. Um, at the trading post, the guy behind the counter says, yeah, guy came in yesterday going coming from the free claim. He said it was worth 109 bucks. Okay. So, or maybe it was two thirds of a gram. I don't know. But whatever the, the probably gram, gram, because okay. an ounce is like a thousand bucks. Right, 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 right. So two thirds so of a gram. Two thirds of a gram. 100, 109 bucks. Yeah. And uh, so... And he got that from, from claim, the free claim. Free claim number six. Yeah. Uh, it's open to the public. You can keep whatever you find there. So guess where we're heading tomorrow? Of course. Gold panning. Gold panning day tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. We're going to make our fortune in Dawson City. Ken said maybe we'll just stay here for the next couple of years and just keep making a fortune. Could be. really neat you guys walking through Dawson City like just off the main road like one or two blocks in you really get the juxtaposition between the history of this town and what it was like during the gold rush and the Klondike period versus today it's modern people are have nice cars and all that kind of good stuff but it but they live side by side I think a lot of towns lose their historicity when they become modernized. This one has managed to maintain, look at that. Like that's just someone's yard with a Subaru parked out front. <laughs> I love it. I actually feel like if we were gonna settle down, I could settle down in a, in a historic town like this. But we're not settling down, just so you know. We got itchy feet and we wanna keep traveling. But if we ever did, I could settle down in a place like this. And even in the winter, like, we've experienced lots of winter and we love winter, so. Oh, well, I love winter. Look at this building, it's amazing. Alrighty, we are disembarking the ferry in the car. <laughs> what smells so nice? Oh, it's us. Oh, look at us all cleaned up and shiny. <laughs> it's date night, we're heading to Diamond Tooth Gertie's. We're gonna hang out with our friends that we just have met on the road. Shannon and Wes, they are YouTube subscribers. She actually recognized us at a campground like what a week and a half ago so yeah we're just getting off the ferry and uh heading out for a good time at diamond tooth gertie's and i think if you're in dawson city <laughs> nice one hon. isma slide your hands up <laughs> look at it just cross the river i love it you should probably go to diamond gertie's if you're in dawson city but Let's go check it out.
Alrighty, we are at claim number six, free claim number six. So this is an actual gold claim that is owned by the Klondike Visitors Association. And anybody can come here and pan for gold. You can only use hand tools. I think you can use pickaxe, shovel, and a gold pan. And we don't have a pickaxe, but we do have a shovel and a gold pan. So Kent's already at work over there. And uh, like he said earlier, it's his birthday. So this is super fun for him for his birthday. This is what he loves to do. It's always been his dream to go gold panning. So it's gonna be a fun afternoon. We're just gonna hang out here. Um, it's pretty quiet. It's beautiful. Look at all these gorgeous trees out here. Look at that. So nice. I love it. And we do have our bear spray because you never know. And I think I'm gonna go help him find some gold. Because why not? Might as well. This is called Bonanza Creek. Used to be in the town of Grand Forks. And they say that um, a fire came through here in the early 1900s. And because of that, they just said, you know what, let's just flatten the town and mine it. So there's dredge number eight that was here. Um, I don't know the dates, but you know, it was here. Dredge the whole area, but they say, legend has it, that I think there are two bulldozed cuts up the mountain over there, up the hill, that were never finished and that they probably have lots of pay dirt in them. So we'll see. We're not gonna go up there, I don't think, because that's not claim number six. It's very clear boundaries. And claim jumping is a serious offense. So you have to stay within the boundaries of claim number six. But driving up here is cool because we saw other claims that people have bought and they're working their claims. So what used to be history is still happening today. It's still a modern day thing. So I don't know, maybe Kent and Lisa Living Light RV will turn into Kent and Lisa Living Light Prospectors. Who knows? We'll have to see. See how much gold fever Kent gets today. <laughs> But we're having fun anyway. Okay, so here we are at the boundary of claim number six. And you can see the, behind me, is the confluence between, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that's the El Dorado River coming in here. And then we've got the Bonanza Creek coming in over there. So anytime you have a confluence, that seems to be a good place to look for gold. So we are, and I'm pretty sure the boundary is like right here where these, these rocks have been set up. So we won't go over that side, but we will stay on this side right here because this is where it's legal for us to pan for gold. And isn't Daphne such a good helper? <laughs> that dog loves the water, I tell you. Thanks for hanging out with us today, you guys. My name is Lisa. And my name is Kent. We're Living Light RV. We are grabbing life by the tail, and we live full time in our motorhome. It is uh, 1993 vintage. We renovated her. Yep. Her name is Bessie. That was three years ago. Crazy, hey? This is an amazing life. We want to encourage you guys, if you are even thinking about doing full time RV life, 
de definitely consider it. It is it is not always easy. No. Nope. But sometimes we get to have epic views like this. We get to live wherever we it's go. It's incredible. It is incredible. And yes. yes, we get to live wherever we go. It's like that's just a thing. Now, it's in awesome. order for us to live wherever we go, we better leave the Yukon before the ice locks us in. Yes. So that's Or else living would not might not continue. Yeah, exactly. So that's it. We're going to go hang out. We're going to go have a campfire and just enjoy this evening. And we will see you guys next Thursday. Take care. Okay, this is fascinating to me. This is how you do street sweeping in Dawson City. You just run the grader through. <laughs> it's not awesome. Makes a new street. It's perfect. It's cheap. It's quick. It works. That's how you do things in the north.